All right, here we go. Uh, this is more optimization. So again, we uh, write a formula, uh, usually two formulas, and we take the derivative and see where the derivative is maximized, and that's kind of what goes on. Uh, so here we go, the product of two positive integers. So the product is multiplication. So the product of two positive integers is 192. Uh, what number should be chosen so that the sum of the first and three times the second is a minimum? <clears throat> okay, we'll worry about this in just a moment. Let's go ahead and get rid of one of these letters. Uh, so let's just say, I don't know, y is equal to 192 divided by x. All right, so that means s is equal to x plus 3 times 192 divided by x. Uh, so s is equal to um, x squared plus 3 times 192. Five seventy six divided by x. Uh, so that's that. So we are going to take the derivative of that and find the minimum sum. Find the minimum sum. Uh, so the derivative of this is bottoms up. Derivative of the top minus leave the top alone. Derivative of the bottom is 1 all over the bottom squared. Again, don't forget to distribute this negative all the way through. Okay, so uh, getting critical numbers off of this, uh, that would mean the, uh, the top, the numerator, or the fraction in general is equal to zero, or it's undefined, or something like that. <clears throat> so that means where x is equal to zero, but that really doesn't tell you much. So it's more uh, where is this uh, numerator equal to zero, or what would make the entire fraction equal to zero. And so that's the square root of 576. 20, plus or minus 24, again, minus doesn't really uh, tell you anything because I think these have to be positive numbers. Make sure. Yeah, two positive integers. So this is uh, giving us a critical number of 24. So let's see what the uh, sum is at this 24. Hopefully it's minimized. So x is 24, and so what is occurring to the sum at 24, or before and after it? So before it's negative, after it's positive. Um, and that's just what I'm doing is I'm plugging a 0 into my derivative. And so 0 will tell you the low side. So it's negative and then it's positive. Um, and so it's negative and positive. So because it's negative and positive, uh, that is a minimum, increasing to an increase. That's a minimum, which is exactly what I want it to be. Um, so the x in this case is 24. Um, and then uh, that would imply that y is 8. Okay, a gardener has uh, 60 meters of fence to enclose a rectangle garden. Um, so that would be the perimeter. So that means 2x plus 2y is equal to 60. What are the dimensions of her enclosure to, uh, to contain the greatest possible area? What is the area? So the area is x times y. Then we'll get to that in just a moment. Let's go ahead and uh, get rid of some of the stuff. Um, 
So let's go with 2x is equal to 60 minus 2y, thus x is equal to 30 minus y. Okay, over to the area. So the area is equal to 30 minus y times y. All right, so let's take the derivative of this and hopefully this can get maximized. So 30 minus 2y, and I want to see what is that equal to zero. And that implies that y would be equal to 15. Yeah, 15. So we have a critical number when y is equal to 15. Let's see if that is uh, handling our area the way that we think it should. So uh, throwing in uh, a small number, that's going to be a positive and a negative, and then that would mean that that is a maximum, increasing to a decrease. All right, so the x is uh, 50, excuse me, as you were, y is 15. I think they're running the same, though. y is equal to 15, and what we're talking about here is what, meters? Meters. And so x is 30 minus y, so x is also 15. And they want to know what is the area as well, and that's x times y. So that's 225, area is meters squared. All right, an open box is made from a rectangular uh, material by cutting equal squares from each corner uh, and turning up the sides. Find the dimensions of the box of the maximum volume if the material is a dimension, uh, material has dimensions of two feet by three feet. All right, so cutting this box kind of into a shape like this, where these are X's, We're folding it right here, and we're turning up the sides so it makes this open top box. Okay. And so the box, when folded up, okay, we'll have a bottom. And so um, if the dimensions are two feet by three feet, We'll call this two. Call that uh, uh, width. And I'll call this length. And so this has a width minus two axes, a length minus two axes, and a height of x. Also, it, it only makes sense that if I take a look at the domain of this, the most x could possibly be is 1. Because if you're cutting squares out of the sides and this entire bottom length is 2, you can only cut 1. Like this. So that puts a uh, restriction on x. x is less than 1. <clears throat> okay, uh, let's start writing some equations. Um, so let's talk about the um,
So I, I don't know why I'm having a, a slight brain fart here. Um, I, I know I can make the volume. Sorry, I, I'm just having a slight brain fart. I'm, I don't know what it is. Old age or something. Okay. Oh, I get it. Da, 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 da. I'm done. Okay. Ready to go. I'm ready to rock. <laughs> oh, boy. Here we go. You just jump right into the volume. Okay. So the volume in this case is uh, length times width times height, uh, which means <clears throat> this is um, three minus 2x, the width is 2 minus 2x, and the height is x. All right, so uh, putting this together, this is what, 6 minus 6 minus 4 plus 4x. All right, there is our volume. So we want to uh, maximize the volume, so we take a derivative. And I don't think this is going to get us to a really nice looking answer. Um, I know I can take a two out, and that'll make things a little bit easier. But yeah, 18 doesn't add to negative 10 very well. So negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. This is what uh, the inside would be 100 minus 4 times 6 times 3, 28. 28, just doing some old school math here, 28 is a 2, 1, 4. Two seven is as good as it gets. Okay, so five plus minus se uh, root seven six. Okay, let's just make sure that this maximizes the volume. <clears throat> this is an x value. And I, I don't even really know what this is. So let's go 5 plus root 7 over 6. And that's 5 something. And it can't be that. It can't be 5. Because again, x is restricted between 0 and 1. So let's go 5 minus root 7, 5 by 6. Okay. 
I think that first answer was actually wrong. Sorry. Let me five plus root seven divided by six. Okay, it, it is actually one, but again, it's still restricted. Uh, so yeah, it does have to be minus. So this is the five minus root seven over six because again, it, it's restricted to be at most one. So this is at approximately 0 0.39 uh, to, to four. Okay, approximately. And so let's test a small number like 0.25. Try that into the, uh, the derivative. That's a positive. Something bigger than 0.39, like 0.5 or something like that. It's a negative. Perfect. So that is a maximum. All right. So. That means uh, the x is uh, this 0 0.3924. Uh, so I'm just going to go with decimals from here. I, I just, I, I'm just going to give decimal answers. Uh, so find the dimensions of the box and the maximum value. All right, so the uh, width, the length, excuse me. Let's go with the length. Uh, so again, 5 minus root 7 divided by 6. Okay, this is this is the value that I'm just going to give decimal values. So the length is going to be uh, 3 minus 2 x's. The width is 2 minus 2 x's. The height is 1x, and thus the volume would be 3 minus 2x, 2 minus 2x, and x. So these are feet. This is volume. All right, uh, which number between negative one and one when subtracted from its cube gives the greatest difference? Okay, so this difference is uh, between negative 1 and 1 when subtracted uh, from its cube gives the greatest difference. <clears throat> Again, I just kind of want to get a, a rough idea about what this number actually is. And that's 0 0.57 something something. All right, so let's test this out. So more negative than 0.57, let's go with like negative 0.75 or something like that. Put it in the derivative. positive. In the middle is a zero, so that's a negative, negative one. And then um, I'm assuming it goes positive again, 0.75. Uh, let's put it in the derivative. That is a positive. I'm sorry. 
All right, so this is a max, this is a min, and I want to know gives uh, the greatest difference. So the difference wants to be maximized. And so that number would be negative square root one third, or AKA negative root three over three. Thank you. 